Rameya University of Applied Sciences came into existence in December 2013 in Bengaluru. The university is sponsored by the Gokul Education Foundation Medical Trust, a public charitable trust formed in 1962 with an objective of imparting student-centric higher education. We are looking at how to make the program as student-centric as possible. Mm-hmm. Means it's not only you know focusing and cover the syllabus or whatever it is kind mm-hmm. of a thing. We ensure how to make the students learn. Right. Out of various strategies to make the students learn, we are keen in creating graduates who are global citizens and who are more interested in. I think who will have the capability to mm-hmm. solve the problems. We call them as we produce graduates. Mm-hmm. for problem solvers hmm. sir uh, what is the focus area in terms of research the research center focuses knowledge creation we have 21st research center we have dealing research, dealing now we have not put the research center in an academic uh, hmm. department we have made them independent hmm. the idea is that we want to encourage interdisciplinary research hmm. we are focusing in the area of automotive aeronautics energy communication then biomedical engineering hmm. then we are talking about intelligent system robotics and control systems hmm. then we are talking about you know design tools and techniques for the future hmm. then we are also talking in the management department about startups their problems how hmm. to motivate students for hmm. creating more and more startups another very important thing we have in our university is the techno center One of the most important verticals of the university is its techno center. The facility is essential in its role as an industry interface for the institute's students and other budding entrepreneurs alike, providing consultancy for product design and development and also doubling up for various business incubation activities. The techno center enables students with the right tools to excel in their future endeavors. we have a dedicated uh, team of engineers who provide engineering solutions to the uh, public sectors uh, drd or defense organizations and private uh, engineering industries so we have done more than around 700 uh, projects in this under techno center uh, we do also have a incubation center where we have uh, incubated around 19 ideas and uh, which is funded from the msme government of india Uh, we also have a commercialization uh, facilitating agency uh, at techno center so basically industry interactions happen through techno center amongst its various state of the art infrastructural facilities the pinya campus of the university also boasts of a wind tunnel laboratory which has both a subsonic and a supersonic wind tunnel the students doing their masters and their undergraduate programs here they study about gas dynamics fluid mechanical behavior in the class theoretically once they come to the aerodynamics laboratory they are able to see this phenomena right in front of their eyes and what we also have here is a clearing system which can photograph the shock waves so once the students see the shock wave behavior right in front of their eyes it gets firmly fixed onto the minds and now once they graduate and enter into the into our scientific or national programs which our country is going pursuing now i am sure they can contribute dramatically to both the both the missile programs the space launch vehicle programs and the high speed aircraft program which our country is interested in students are also exposed to real life problem solving sessions in a creative and innovative environment with an emphasis on inculcating self confidence and imbibing a positive attitude towards life and now i am joined by a group of students from ms ramaya so bhagya i suppose you are an undergraduate student over here what is your experience like uh, when i joined ms ramaya college i got scared whether i could cope up with the standard of teaching here but as in when the classes were scheduled the faculty started teaching us from basics so basically our theory sessions were followed by practical sessions so we could apply whatever we have learned in the theory sessions so it could give us a basic understanding of the subject 
So uh, Anusha, I suppose you are an MCOM student over here. How do you think this institute differs from any other institute? We have a modular system uh, here where one subject is taught for 10 days and that sub particular subject's exam we give in another week. We have the first half session uh, theoretical and the second half the practical. We basically implement the theory which is being done in the morning in the afternoon session. You have heard that only science people have labs or something. Even we, we MCOM students, we have labs with tallies, tallies being taught, SPSS software has been taught. So we are very comfortable here and we are taught which is not being taught anywhere else. Hmm. All right. So we have Sahiti with us and Sahiti is an MBA student so and also in budding un entrepreneur. Sahiti, how do you think this institute you know, is a perfect fit for your career ambitions? Actually after graduation there were many ideas flowing out like whether which uh, startup to join and all but after joining an MBA I have heard that they have an entrepreneurship cell. So it actually gives me a better platform to look after all the other things which, which, uh, which are needed for a startup. I just have to go there and give my idea, that's it. The rest of the work is, uh, is taking care of the college. All right. So uh, we have Sandhya with us and Sandhya is a PhD student. Sandhya, how do you think, you know, institute is helping you in your research? Being a research scholar, time spent on it is very important. And as a favorable to it, we have a lab systems where we can access 24 by 7. And apart from that, for our research scholars, we have panel members where we have to update our work regular basis. Uh, in that case, where time spent on it and the quality of the work goes hand in hand. That is how we are able to write papers or publish uh, uh, patents uh, in a very regular basis. The university offers its students undergraduate, postgraduate and doctoral programs across a wide gamut of specialized and super specialized courses. Some of the key programs include engineering and technology, art and design, management and commerce, hospitality management and catering technology, pharmacy, dental sciences, science and humanities and Ayurveda and integrative medicine thereby truly delivering on its core objective of imparting student-centric higher education.